What is up guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem and let's get started on this mission. Conflict in the Holy Tomb. I'm trying to think if anything new happened um, in the meantime, but uh, I think all I did was recruit, <coughs> excuse me, all I did was recruit um, two more people into the house. Uh, Casper is one of them, so I kind of realized the real importance the of training the different skills with the we'll other of uh, trainers and stuff event. there. I hear the Archbishop will accompany us to the Holy Tomb. If something happens to her, all of Bodlin will suffer. We must protect her at all costs. This may sound mad, but perhaps we don't have to worry so much about that. Lady Rhea has said before that she is capable of protecting herself. I have a feeling that is true. I thought it was a strange thing for her to say. And beyond that, her movements bring to mind a great warrior with an extensive military background. I wonder. Mind, it's also possible that I'm way off track. Regardless, perhaps we should brace ourselves for anything. I never imagined attending a ceremony for a real revelation. I wonder what the ceremony will be like. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm not ready for this. There's no chance for battle unless something goes terribly wrong, right? Oh, boring. If you keep saying things like that, something bad is bound to happen. What's wrong, Flame? You look like you have something on your mind. Who, me? No, it is nothing. May we all see this through to the end. Your Highness, I will protect you no matter what. Uh, your Highness? I haven't been sleeping well recently, and my oh yeah, another thing, guys. This um, this form was no called the Enlightened One. Let's when I ended off the, the video, it ended up about time taking us to um, Let's to like the reclass page. May occur at this ceremony. So this is a unique class that only our character can get, of course. Are you surprised, Professor? This is the holy tomb. Oh, this place looks nice. Incredible. To Put some lights such over a there. Vast space has been hiding beneath the monastery all this time. A nice pool table to the left. Wonder what powers that giant mechanism that descends beneath the ground. This is where the goddess who created this world was laid to rest, along with her children. It is said that our creator. The goddess Sothis sat upon this very throne. Professor, do you recognize this throne? Oh, hell yeah. So long. I have waited so very long for this day. Sit upon the throne. I have no doubt you will be gifted a revelation from the goddess. Um, okay. My guy is just so quick to go sit there. Well, <laughs> it was supposed to be but a step away. What could possibly be missing? Halt! Reveal yourself! And someone's here. <laughs> Don't move, any of you. If you Who move, this guy? your lives will be forfeit. Thank you ever so much for guiding us this far. The Imperial Army will now take possession of everything in the Holy Tomb. <laughs> now we gotta Why kill you. Why is the Imperial Army here? This can't be. How did they get into Garrick Mach? Even the Flame Emperor is here. That can only mean... The Flame Emperor is connected to the Empire. What do you know? I never imagined you'd have the nerve to return here. What are you after, Flame Emperor? Is it not obvious? The Holy Tomb contains great power. The power to rule all of Bodlin. I know it's hot up under that to mask. To attain that power, you'll trample anything that stands in your way. Just like you did in Dusker. I had nothing to do with that. Quickly, retrieve the Crest Stones. Kill for them if you must. Insolence! 
You will atone for the sin of trampling on this holy resting place. Professor, destroy these villainous traitors who dare dishonor our creator. Uh, I guess. Guess we gotta destroy you guys now. I didn't ask for this. Why, thank you so much. Thank you. I have gratitude. All right, let's make sure we don't have people we don't want out here. All right, so, um, honestly, I think I prefer Dorothy out instead of Manuela. And guess we'll assign you to him. Oh yeah, this is who we recruited, guys, by the way. Ah, oh, I totally forgot he's a warrior. That works out, so now we can have like two beefy guys on the team. Um Okay, I think we'll I think we'll get started. I will not allow such violence from the Empire. Strike down the rebels and protect the holy tomb. Oh yeah, I totally forgot I gave my guy an axe. Because <laughs> I wanted to level up <laughs> different the weapons. Holy tomb must not be desecrated. But maybe this isn't protect the perfect many of the time to be doing that. As you can. Okay. Could be gained from Look at the Rothia in like the upper left, just like dead. moving her hips around. Uh, da -da. Okay, well, we're gonna start off with just like a uh, focus. I'm pretty confident in my guys since uh, I definitely have them power level for this. Rounds. I see that major black mage, whatever he is, is like targeting the uh the enemy swipe the crest Take down. Away the crest stones, all of them. That is enough. Do you even know what those stones are? Okay, so you gotta kill them before they make it back there. Okay, there was like no way we were gonna get to them all in time like that. I think he swapped one. Yeah. You swapped one. Yeah, I'm like low-key out here wondering. I'm on it. Where everybody's at. Okay, uh Lance a ruin. We'll keep the crest down. I don't know, I feel like the path that they Ready. gave these people is kind of stupid. She should be good right there. See how far my guy can move. Stay focused. I'll cut through because I will bypass you because now I got to catch up to I got to catch up to that guy I'll go Not good enough. 
Ooh, got a nice crit. Can you, you can't even really move anywhere. I think she has some some magic, uh, destructive like magic on her. Proceed with caution. Okay, perfect. You guys kind of just came up here for me to take the stuff away from you. see who else had one because it was just these guys okay and then that guy all the way over there but I guess I'll help out with this fight Should I do? Yeah, you're not doing anything to him. She got a crit. Just get that extra attack in. Uh, I was like, why didn't she attack twice? That explains it.
Looking good. I don't know why people be ranking him so low, saying he's like one of like the weakest people to be getting out here. He be putting in work. I guess I can send those to... Wait, why is my health drop like that? No idea, but okay. Um, I think that was... Everybody for the most part. <laughs> She's getting some nice crits. I gotta give her more credit. Told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Uh, you will not be cooking me, sir.
got poisoned. Okay, because that might end the fight, so let me let me get these guys some nice EXP. He's just chilling back here. You wish to interfere, then your life is forfeit. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Who are you, bro? Don't tell me it's your uncle. <laughs> this is some kind of twisted joke. <laughs> Wait. For you, I will take that head from your shoulders and hang it from the gates of Endor. Dimitri got. Ooh, he ready? Yo, he acting like a villain. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back to that cutscene, though. <laughs> so we just gonna act like he didn't just go ham like that, though? It's like all happy-go-lucky music, like, just because we won the battle. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of confused Before it was Edelgard. I break <laughs> your neck, there is one thing I must ask you. Stay out of my way. I don't recall giving you permission to speak. Answer my question. That is all you have left to do. Flame Emperor. No. Edelgard. Tell me now. Why did you cause such a tragedy? <sighs> You killed your own mother, and yet you haven't even had the decency to stop and consider the reasons behind your actions! Have you? I already told you I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> it was foolish to think I could reason with a lowly beast. Your Majesty, no! You are a monster. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. 
The Church of Zeros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the holy tomb, dishonored the goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. Yeah, let's let's go back. That was pretty epic. We weren't able to defeat her. Your highness. Oh, his voice got a little gritty. I will kill Edelgard with my own hands. I swear it. Let's return to the monastery, Professor. It is clear what must be done. Are they going to, like, destroy her whole house or something? The Black Eagles or something? Or is so, this an opportunity to recruit he's everybody? finally shown his true face. The same Dimitri I've seen once before. A beast who loves spilling blood. You're wrong. I'm sure of it. There has to be an explanation. I knew he'd been carrying the burden of that tragedy. I understand his thirst for revenge. His family and closest friends, all massacred right in front of him. Yeah, he's a Sasuke. But it still doesn't add up. There must be more that we don't know. That's true. Dimitri didn't come unhinged until after the Flame Emperor was unmasked. You don't think there's some connection between those two, do you? The leaders of the church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. Yeah, we'll try, bro. Professor, the Empire has declared war on the Church of Seros. We knew this day would come, sooner or later. What's going to happen? We can't afford to be optimistic. It's entirely possible the kingdom will be invaded. Settle yourself, Ingrid. We need to carefully consider. Yeah, but you guys options. are ready. We can't I mean, just you guys act rashly. That will only make things worse. Once we've ascertained the situation, we must return to Ferdiad. Your Highness. Okay, silent, didn't say anything. Part one, white clouds, lone moon. We've been Two in part more. one forever. Together, the people of Fodlin relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. 
They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky. A silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Now it's like I kind of can't wait to play through again as the Black Eagles just to see um, how the story's going to go. Are they going to put Dimitri behind the mask or Claude behind the mask? Oh, they gave us less time this time for like the the next like important quest. Unforgivable. I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. I mean, I think we all did. She plotted with ill-meaning strangers to achieve her own ambitions and defiled the Holy Tomb. If that is not wicked, what is? Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Oh, just me? Yeah, you why me? You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fulvan. If you say so. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg of you. <sighs> that one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel, one who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend, and in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our Creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother, I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. Wars are coming, guys. Wars are coming. 
But with that said, guys, I'm gonna end off this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoyed playing through that mission. But um, leave a like for the video if you liked the video. You can always put a thumbs down too if you didn't like it. Also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel a lot. And will help you guys stay updated on these videos being uploaded. But with that said, take it easy, guys. Later.